Jack, who was an Oscar-winning cinematographer. And his films are, are unbelievable now to look at with all the CGI that we have now. If you mention the name Jack Cardiff to a cinematographer, their knees go funny and they, they kind of sit down for a while. He took the Technicolor camera and taught Technicolor what it could do. It's very rare that you get an actor, one of the best actors of his generation, play a part he burns to play. What really fascinates me about Jack is that he created icons with such style and, and class that they all fell in love with him. Audrey Hepburn, Sophia Loren, Marilyn Monroe, Ava Gardner, the list goes on and on. Jack created fantasy all his life. One of the images that captured my attention was a photograph of Marilyn Monroe and it says not the exact words but my darling Jack if only I could be how you made me look and I realized that would make a great play. It's it's so fantastic that, that Bob's on board playing Dad. He's uh, he's such an amazing actor and uh, having known Dad um, I think he's sort of got a bit of a sort of an inside track. I was summoned to lunch by Robert Lindsay who said, I want you to write me something. I said, why me? He said, uh, Rattigan's dead, Stoppard's not available. So he handed me the autobiography of Jack Cardiff. Actually, I was on board before that. I was on board by pudding. I'm thinking of it as my Lear. I know the play, I think it's a brilliant play, but I think this is better. Jack Cardiff's life really was extraordinary. He's a man that people outside the film industry don't know much about. And I hope after seeing this play, you'll want to know more.